Okay. Yes. What's your name, love? How you been? I know it's hard to pronounce, right? Say again. Yeah. How do you pronounce your name? Tamaskan. Say, say again. African name. How, how do I say it? Tamaska. Where you call me from? I'm calling from Denver, Colorado. Okay. How do you, how do you pronounce your name? Tamaska. Tamaska? Yes. Okay. So, where are you from originally, honey? I'm from East Africa. Okay. Do you live in Denver? Yes, ma'am. Okay. How old are you? I'm 31. 31. You have any children? Yep. How many kids? I got two boys. Two boys. How old are your boys? They're four and six. Four and six by the same woman? Yes, ma'am. Why y'all not together? You got a four year old. Yeah, we sit together, but the problem is this immigration sucks. What? This immigration process is tough. So that's why you're not together? Yep. So how was the immigration process messing up your relationship? It's not easy. It's not easy to bring someone from Africa. So you, she brought you from Africa? Yeah, she still lived there and I live here. I'm trying to bring her takes forever. Oh, oh, so she lives in Africa? Yep. And you live in Denver? Yes, ma'am. So you guys are together because you're not able to bring her to Denver? Yes. Okay, this, this is a real conversation. I understand that. Let's say things work out and you get her to Denver. Are you going to break up with the girl you're with? Uh, that's, that's real hard though, but, uh, I can't do that. You can't do what? I mean, I have to be loyal, right? So you're looking for a woman and this woman you will be loyal to, but in this process, you'll still be trying to get your children's mom and your children to Denver, correct? Yes. So a woman has to date you knowing that you're trying to get your baby mama to Denver. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. We're not gonna do what, honey? I'm not. I mean, if uh, if I got a woman here, I got to be loyal, right? I understand you have to be loyal, but you also have children. You're a father, so yeah. is it your goal, regardless if you date a woman, to bring your 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 children to America? Yes. So that's why I said, if a woman dates you, she has to be aware that he will bring that you're gonna bring them. They want to know: Are you really single, or are you just single? Yes, ma'am. Because of them. That's why I'm trying to be honest. You're trying to be honest. You got so when's the last time you saw your children and your children's mom? Uh, last year. How long do you think it's going to be before you get them here? I'm not, not really sure. Not sure. Not sure. All right. So he is honest. I mean, you can't, you can't negate honesty. So let's start. Yeah. Um, what do you do for a living? Um, I do different things. Such Yes. Not, not not doing drag, but I do some stocks and I do some, you know, Sophia's. Stocks and what else, honey? Sophia's. What are you saying, babe? Sophia. Oh. IT. I don't know what you're saying. Some IT jobs. IT jobs? Yeah. All right. I'm uh, um, 31. Do you believe in zodiac signs? Uh, not really. I'm, I'm not believing it. Okay. So this is Thomas Scott. Thomas Scott. That, that. He's very... from East. Oh, he's, he's, that's how you pronounce it. He's from East Africa. He lives in Denver. Dad of two boys. He is honest. Um, his children um, haven't been able to get to the immigration process yet, but he is actively trying to get them to America. And I'm assuming the child's mom too, correct? Yeah, someone says it's about green card, but uh, I'm U.S. citizen, so. They don't got to worry about it. You're a U.S. citizen. Yes, ma'am. I have a question. Yeah. Why not just marry your child's mother then, and then she could come? Uh, I get to move. I get to move him back to Africa to live with her. So that's that's the whole point. What do you have to do? I mean, I have to go back, right, to live with her. No, but you said that you are a U.S. citizen, correct? Yeah. So being that you're a U.S. citizen, can't you marry her and then she will be able to come to this country? Yeah, she could. But uh, the problem is, you know, after COVID, things, a lot change. So it's not, 
not easy to bring someone. Are you going to marry her to get her here? I'm not I already married before. You married her before? Yeah. All right. When did you get divorced? Last time. Last time? Yeah. When was the last, last motherfucking time? 23, 23, last 23, April. So you got um, divorced that, last year? Yeah. Why did you get divorced? Because this immigration sucks, so. So you hard. got married to bring her here. It wasn't working, so you decided to get divorced. No, no, no I was, uh, was not married her to bring her. Uh, okay. Live. We've been together like 10 years. Okay. And I got here six years ago. Okay. So technically we were together, but uh, I didn't get married. So that, that was the problem. You did get married or you didn't get married? I get married, but four years ago. Four years ago. But been together 10 years and then I got here six years ago. And then you got divorced. Why did you get divorced last year? Because it's tough to bring here. Okay. 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 All right, what kind of woman are you looking for? Anybody uh, who is, you know, young enough, not more than 35. Not more than 35. Um, what are your other deal breakers? Deal breakers? Maybe having children from different fathers. Because she have children? Yeah, with different fathers. That's my deal breaker. So she yeah, one baby daddy? That's fine, yep. Okay. Just not multiple baby daddies. Yes, ma'am. Um, Does she look a certain way? Mm -hmm. I don't mind about the, her race, her look. So. All right, so she make a certain amount of money? I don't mind. She can work. She can work. We oh. can, can do something. Say again? We can do something together. Do something together. Mm -hmm. What's I going to do together? Together. I'm going to configure it out. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Kendra Cam is when you stand up and we see your full body. Full body? You have to stand up. What is that mean? We have to, to see your legs. You got to stand up. Oh, God. Kendra, I have a leg. You have what? I already have a leg, right? Listen. Yeah. You trying all my patience. Now the Kendra cam is not an option. Stand your ass up so we can see your full body. Look, Kendra, I love you, and then um, I'm not gonna do that. Well, ladies, I mean, that was a mess, anyways, child. I I, I was trying to keep up. I was confused as hell. He had a wife. He got divorced. He couldn't bring her here. He gonna bring her here. So listen, some of y'all might find he was attractive. I'll give him that. Just know he gonna get his children's mom and his children to America. So ladies, you sign up for it if you want to. But one thing you cannot say with this one, you ain't know. You ain't know. I don't. You ain't know about the wife in East Africa. Once if, I don't know when people were going. I don't know when people were going to get through and get the stamp so they can come. But it's gonna happen. May I don't, may not happen. 2024 may happen. 20 may happen. It's going to happen. They're going to get the paperwork and say kids going to be here. So, I mean, this is why when I, when y'all be telling me y'all be getting fooled by men, I'm like, what kind of conversations y'all have? If you have these type of conversations with a man, and if you proceed to date him after all that, then you deserve whatever happens in that relationship job. You deserve whatever happens. He don't really got to I asked him what job he do. He said he get money. He get what? What the fuck? You get money? Who do you pay taxes? So ladies, y'all can y'all can reach out to him if you want to. Reach out to him if you want to. Go down that rabbit hole, but don't blame nobody but yourself because you know the exact truth. Which is more than me because I don't really know shit, and I'm the one that had the conversation. I'm confused as hell. I'm so confused. I, I, I really am. I really am. So if you end up dating him, let me know the answers because I don't really understand. 